Hi, today in this second part of video lecture of string efficiency, I will try to give you knowledge about what I have learned and understand about string efficiency. So today we are going to learn first of all why this uneven distribution of voltage occur in the disk of insulator. Secondly, what is mutual and shunt capacitance and how can we improve string efficiency. If you have not checked the first part of this video series, then make sure you check that out. Link can be somewhere over here. So, first of all, the root cause of all this is uneven distribution of voltage. If you look at high voltage transmission line, you will see that the string of disk type insulator and if you notice that the insulator disk is having metal fittings on it. So metal fittings are conducting and the porcelain disk is insulator. So certain amount of capacitance is being formed between the metal fittings. This is called as mutual capacitance C. As all the units are same in shape and size as well as material, the value of that capacitive reactance will be equal. If we draw a line diagram of this system, then it will look like this. Equal charging current will be flow through the all this and we can imagine that there will be also equal voltage distribution. So you will say that why the can we are wasting our time in watching your videos rather than watching comedy videos. But my friends there is one more villain in this picture which is called as shunt capacitance. Shunt capacitance is capacitance which is being formed between the metal fittings of insulator disc and the pole of transmission tower. Air between them works as a dielectric medium. Now let's take a look at line diagram once again and it will look like this. Shunt capacitance is being represented by C1. Charging currents will be divided into two parts that is one for mutual capacitance and other is for shunt capacitance. So mutual capacitance part will be represented by capital I1 and shunt capacitance part will be represented by small i1. Here what happens is that capital I1 will be further divided into capital I2 and small i2. Capital I2 will be further divided into capital I3 and small i3. Due to this flowing charging current will be differ from disk to disk. That's why the voltage distribution become uneven through all the disks in the string. So shunt capacitance has done what it can. Now it's on us that how we compensate this and as we are engineers we can find one or another way to solve the problems. So there are three methods by which we can can actually improve string efficiency. First method is by employing longer cross arm. Due to shunt capacitance, the charging current are flowing to the ground. So as we go upward, the value of charging current through the unit decreases. If the value of shunt capacitance is decreased, the charging current flowing through the ground through shunt capacitance is also decreases and the voltage distribution become less non-uniform. The string efficiency increases. But there is problem with this method that we cannot go beyond a certain level as it become really impractical to implement instant size of longer cross arm. Second method is to grade each and every insulator according to need. In this method, the disc which is near to the line conductor, we will keep its capacitance highest and as we go upward, the capacitance of disc is kept in decreasing order. This arrangement helps us to make the flow of charging current equal through all the disks. So the voltage distribution will be uniform. But the problem is that it is very costly and impractical to grade each and every insulator according to our need. So then what is the solution? This method is very hard to implement and first method is somehow impractical. Then there is third method to use card rings. In this method, the voltage level across each unit in a string can be equalized by using a guard ring, which is a metal ring electrically connected to the conductor and surrounding insulator disc. The guard ring adds some capacitance between metal fittings and the line conductor. The guard ring is positioned in such way that the current flowing from the guard ring is equal to the flowing shunt capacitance currents and the currents are added into currents flowing through the mutual capacitance. So the current flowing to the each disk will be remain equal and ultimately we can get better string efficiency. So that's it for now guys share this video in your circle subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video if there is any query or suggestion so write it down below and if you are watching this video on computer then there will be some titles of videos click on them to go to that topic and if you are using mobile device then you can find same in the description box.